Hey, Sneaky Nose back tonight. Back in the Tiny Core, cool, of course. Just been released. Tiny Core cool, 4.5.6 or 4.5.6. All in the light. Nice. And as you know, I've been following Tiny Core cool for about, about four, four and a half years now. Super of a duper. I do like it. It's a really nice, tiny, tiny distro. And you just build up what you want. Now, as you can see, I've got some stuff I've added already because it's an install system, by the way. And some that you wouldn't find in the live CD. Now you will find this in the live CD, the Wi-Fi option, but there's no option to redo the CD or reconfigure it or install. I've left them out of the install packages. So this is the real install system doing what we say on the tin because we're installed. Okay. So anyway, usual exit terminal editor control panel. Up to control panel. Backup restore. Once this installs, you don't have to really worry about that too much. Date and time, yeah, no, yeah, no. Configure your tiny core bar. Okay, we'll click on that. So, say I want edit on the right hand side. Okay, so we go to right vertical and we'll apply that. All of a sudden, our bar goes over there. It's where you want it. Now, many moons ago, when they were first doing this, you couldn't actually read what was going down, but now it's all been sorted out. Look, you can actually read what's there. That's super of the duper. I like it. Shall I move it? Mm, yeah. Go back to the bottom. Thank you. Goodbye. And that's done. Okay. You've got your mount tool for mount and other drives, mouse tool, system stats, wallpaper. You can add your own wallpapers. There's none other that come with it apart from this one, by the way. Surfaces, a swap file tool. If you've installed, you give yourself a nice partition anyway. Terminal server and next VESA. But yeah, that's all right now. Right, apps. Now, this is where you get all your applications from. So if you click on apps and then go to cloud and then browse. You get loads and loads of stuff. Now, as you can see down the bottom here, I've already actually installed Abbey Word, but I've not actually installed Abbey Word plugins, and there's lots of them. So if we click on it once, and we just wait, there's loads and loads of stuff here. Look, you really, really do need these if you're gonna use Abbey Word. So we're gonna do, right, you also get the option of doing on boot, which will make your boot longer, or on demand. But just for heaven's sake, we're gonna say on demand or on boot. We'll go on boot. So we click go, Right, we'll go over here, bring that bar up, and what will happen is, I'll find some drinkage. Hang on a second. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Very Devony. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Now, hopefully, in the real world, we should be having some downloads going down there now. I have noticed tonight it's been quite slow. But, oh, here we go. Our plugins are coming down. It's not the fastest of um, downloads as you will find if you're doing it in the box but if you use a real machine you normally find it comes out hunky dory super duper so anyway we just wait to finish downloading so we get all these extras like babelfish claris works collab doc book all the extras you do need for new stuff and old stuff so if you've got some really really old stuff you can still read it so that's installed now hunky of the dory love it super duper you can run program from here just type it in Right, excellent. Got your mount tool for mounting other drives. So, my disk drive is not actually mounted at the moment. I don't really need it to, so that's okay. Yeah, super duper. Right, Abbey Word. We're going to open Abbey Word up. That was nice and quick. This is what you get with a base distro that you build up on your own. Super, super speed. So, I've got to help. And we've got about Abbey Word. It's 2.8.2.8.6 .2 or something like that. Okay, but it all works in the tin. Super duper. Now, I've installed Elsa Player for some more reason, a mistake on my point. I was actually trying to install Elsa for sound, but yeah, Elsa Player plays stuff. Super. So that's a nice little addition. Anyway, also for ripping your CDs, I've put in Asunder. So I've got to Preferences and Encode. I've also installed Lame. Yes, Lame, which you need for MP3 stuff, for one of the basics, basically, before you even get started on anything else. Once you've done that, you can do your MP3 stuff and go to disk or whatever you want to do. That's super duper. We also have Audacity 1.3. Yes, works out of the tin. Nice. I like it already. And also, on the end, I've installed a G Numeric. Yeah, because that's the base system, really. Now, it's still, still, still a really, really small system. Okay, so if you like really, really small systems that's really, really fast, or you've got some old hardware hanging around, chuck a tiny core on it, and it will do you justice. It really, really, really will. Okay, if I right click on desktop, get applications, 
if we're going through all these already or not really. But Jacosaurus is just like a Saurus thing. Comes with every word, man. Yeah. Right, again, applications. Oh, I forgot to say that. I've installed Flash already. Somebody said they couldn't install Flash. Well, it is in there. It's called Get Flash. And you just install it. And Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your answer. And Chrome up. I've installed Chrome because don't get a browser as standard. You have to install your own browser. Yes, you do. So if I open YouTube. I'm going to go down there. And there we go. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put me in. And there I come up top of the tree, of course. I'm just going to scroll down to a video, whatever. Yeah. And that one will do. Debian. Okay, so just wait for it to start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's what it says, look. I could change we call it up to 720. Flash is playing, sand is playing, and it's hunkily of the dory, and I like it very much. Let's make a bigger screen, shall we? Yeah, a bit bigger. Yeah, it's doing what it says. I like it already. Take that off. Nice, we'll just let it run for a little bit longer, just to make sure. Do you want full screen? Of course you do. There we go. So we'll go full screen. There you go. It's getting that full screen. Nice. Okay. What can I say? It works. And it works in any browser. Sea Monkey is the best one to use though on this one, to be really honest with you. Anyway, Tiny Core 4.5.6 using the kernel of 3.0.21 is super of the duper. The base download is 12 megs. The Core Plus is 65. Both small, whatever you want to do, do it. Yeah, Tiny Core for the win. Super duper. It will do you and you back up all your stuff and it will do everything you want to do. Sneaky legs going out. I see you later, and I'm not killing all humans anymore. Bye, Z bye.